we have to admit, default Dead by Daylight's kind of a dull looking game. So wouldn't it be really good if you could take this dull looking game and turn it into something beautiful using the video freestyle? I got you covered. Hey guys, Dalcy here, and welcome back to the home of super educational Dead by Daylight killer content here on YouTube. I made a guide for Reshade recently on how to install and set it up in Dead by Daylight, and I shared with you my Reshade settings that I've fine-tuned and tweaked over the last two years so that you could have the best-looking Dead by Daylight out there. Since I made that guide, a lot of people asked me if I could make something similar for Nvidia Freestyle, and I was a little bit hesitant to do this at first because, to put it quite frankly, Nvidia Freestyle just isn't as powerful as Reshade and doesn't have the same customization options. But I recently discovered that you can actually add Reshade plugins into Nvidia Freestyle. So I've gone ahead and I've converted all of my Reshade settings into Nvidia Freestyle, and it looks probably a little bit better to be honest, than Reshade, and it has the extra benefit of not having a third-party program installed onto your game, which means more FPS. My game is actually performing better now that I'm on NVIDIA Freestyle. So it's the best of both worlds, and I wanted to share with you how to set this up and what my settings are in Freestyle as well. So let's get into the tutorial. To start off, we, of course, are going to exit out of Dead by Daylight. And the first step would be to open up GeForce Experience, which uh, you may need to update if you haven't been into GeForce Experience in a while. Once it's updated and ready to go, head over to your settings and uh, come over here and make sure the in-game overlay is enabled. And double click settings here and come over to photo mode slash game filter and make sure this is also enabled as well. And if you're all good to go there, we can continue with the tutorial. In the description will be a link to the GitHub page, which uh, is got all of the shaders and textures you need from Reshade to chuck these into NVIDIA Freestyle. So just click this green button up here, which says code and click the download zip button to download the Reshade uh, shaders for NVIDIA. And once that is downloaded, you can come over to your downloads folder here, which will have the shaders in it. I'm going to just quickly extract these into my downloads folder and head on in here. We have reshade shaders for NVIDIA. Double click that. Now we have the shaders and textures, read me and reference. We're gonna go into shaders and textures. And here we have 103 different textures for NVIDIA Freestyle. I've just noticed my Flux is enabled. This is a great program. You should definitely download Flux if you haven't already. Uh, I need to unenable that because I don't want my recording to be a super yellow color. Here we go. So the shaders and textures are uh, all here ready to go. So we're going to chart these into NVIDIA Ansel. So let's open up a new uh, Explorer folder. We're just gonna do this on our C drive, which is where my operating system is installed. And I'm now gonna head over to program files. I'm gonna find a NVIDIA corporation here. There should be a folder called Ansel. It's possible you don't have it. If you don't have it, you will need to add it to your NVIDIA corporation folder. So just create a new folder and title it Ansel. And inside here, we're now going to drag and drop the shaders and textures into this folder. We're gonna need admin permission. So click do this for all current items and click continue as you don't wanna to have to approve 103 separate files. And that's it. You've just installed the reshade plugins into NVIDIA Freestyle, as easy as that. Now we can reopen up Dead by Daylight and get to configuring this. So let's skip ahead. If everything went well, then you should have in the top right corner, just above me, the in-game overlay prompt pop up to say that you can access it by pressing a certain hotkey. The hotkey that we need to memorize to get into the game overlay is Alt F3. Very close to the infamous Alt F4. So be very careful with this next step that you don't accidentally shut down Dead by Daylight. I'm just gonna get over to the killer screen because I love watching the Legion's bright pink bunny outfit light up as I add all of these filters into Dead by Daylight. So it's time to now configure NVIDIA Freestyle. Alt F3 is the button to bring up the game filter. Don't press Alt F4 by mistake. I certainly have. Uh, and you just want to select one or two or three for your styles. These are just different templates. So if you wanted to have different things, you could set that up. Let's add all the different filters in. We're going to start with Bloom. Then we're going to add in Ambient Light. Then we're going to add in Colorfulness. 
going to add uh, SMAA next. We'll get a error message uh, about depth field. It, it still does a little bit of work for us and I like what it does. Um, we're then going to add sharpen next and we'll finish it off with curves. That is six separate filters that you need to add in. Now I'm pretty lucky because all my settings have saved over from when I set these up earlier today. So we can speed through the settings and get you configured as quickly as possible. Pro tip, when you're trying to uh, pinpoint a number here, you can use your arrow keys to uh, get a more accurate number rather than trying to slide these slides around. They're not very responsive, you see. So let's start off with the bloom threshold and we're going to put that up to 0 0.5. Six. Yeah, I've knocked it off a little bit, but there we go. That will do for now. 0 0.56. The bloom amount is set to zero. Uh, the bloom saturation, 0 0.78. The bloom tint, you want your red set at 0 0.7 and your green and blue set to 0 0.8. Enable lens dirt and set the lens dirt intensity to 0 0.26. The lens dirt saturation is set at 1.6 and for the lens dirt tint options you can set them all to one for red, green and blue. Everything else in bloom can be left at default so let's move over to ambient light next. For ambient light our owl int is going to be set to 2.4, the owl threshold will be set to 0.108, make sure that owl Adaptation is enabled and set that all the way up to four at max. The adapt base multiplier to 0 0.88 and then the adapt base black level all the way up to four as well. You wanna make sure that dirt is enabled and then you can leave everything else at default for ambient light. Next up is colorfulness. And for colorfulness, we're going to set the colorfulness option to 0.52 and the Lim Luma option to 0.51. Enable Differ is turned off and Colorfulness Noise is turned on and the Black Buffer Bits is at default at eight. Up next is SMAA. Edge Detection Threshold is set to 0.1. Max Search Steps 32. Max Search Steps Diagonal is set to 16 and the Corner Rounding is at 25. The sharpen, it should just be default settings 100% uh, on the sharpen and 15% on ignore film grain. Uh, the Silent Hill background has a lot of film grain just naturally in it. Uh, so the menu looks pretty grainy with these settings. It looks way better when you have a default menu, uh, but in game, the 15% the gr film grain looks really good. Uh, but if you ever felt it was too grainy for you, you would adjust this setting here. And finally, we have curves coming up next. We need to set the curves mode to Luma. We want formula simplified cat mole ROM and the contrast, we're going to set this to 0.2. Now this makes it quite a uh, natural uh, colors in Dead by Daylight. If you wanted something a little bit more colorful, you could knock this all the way up and it really brightens up or you can knock it all the way down. And it's actually gonna lighten the game quite a bit. I like 0.2 a lot my contrast that's the the number that i have found uh works for me and that's where we're going to keep it and that is it guys hit done and you are ready to play some fantastic looking dead by daylight uh everything looks so much sharper the edges of the models are so much more crisp you can see way further in the game and also define edges of objects way easier so Claudette's hiding in bushes suddenly become a little bit more easier to spot or if it's a Meg behind a uh, behind a maze tile you'll be able to see the top of her head sticking out. Uh, you can just go through all the different characters here and see that all the different characters look way brighter and just more defined in what they look like and of course for the survivors which I'm sure you're a little bit more interested in as those are the people that you're trying to see you can see that all of these characters uh, outfits are way brighter easier to see and everything's just far more defined and any bright colors such as purples or if we were to switch over to feng and i've got my golden feng set up here the red they just stand out like nothing else uh guys that's the tutorial for nvidia free shade settings 
feel free to install it, set it up, and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you did like the guide, then hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notification bell so you can get notified every time I go live with an educational Dead by Daylight video. Of course, I'm live on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday as well. So if you'd like to see educational commentary, variety, uh, killer gameplay, and requests, interaction, all of the lot, head over to Twitch, link in the description. I'll catch you there every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm in Dalsy. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you on my next one, or you can check out one of my previous ones over there.